Hello and welcome. This video was suggested by a viewer just like you. Thank you. In several previous videos, I analyzed a wide variety of common items ranging from avocado, river water, snow, my own piss, cheese, chocolate briquettes, milk, whiskey, and more useless analytical fact you've come to expect from this channel. But for now, I'll just uh, check the anion concentration of these drinks and again, try to draw some conclusion. So I'll check for fluoride, chloride, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate, and sulfate in popular drink like Fireball, Bacardi, Jagermeister, Hennessy, Brandy, Gin, 1800 uh, Tequila, Vodka, and Rum. I am using a 4mm Dynex AS4 for this analysis with a flow rate of 1.3 milliliters per minute and a 50 milliamps setting on the suppressor. I use a carbonate eluent, 4 grams of uh, sodium carbonate and 1.2 gram of sodium bicarbonate, 94 to 6 percent with the uh, DI water. And with the 1 to 5 dilutions, here are the results. First on the list is Jägermeister, which is high in organics and not much else. But rum was injected after Jäger and this hump is probably a leftover from Jäger, possibly a benzoate or some such heavy organic molecule. Notice the sulfate and the like in the rum there. Now see how clean tequila is. Compared to Fireball with its uh, nitrates and high organics to give it its flavor and other attributes. Some of these attributes carried over with uh, the next injection, which is brandy. And brandy is relatively clean. But until you look at the next injection, which is gin, you don't get the full picture. Besides nitrate and sulfate, gin is messing with the next injection, adding some uh, heavy organic in vodka. Which is very anion clean, by the way. Hennessy is probably the cleanest alcohol I've analyzed so far. Brandy is about average, considering all the crap I've analyzed and put through the column with this project. As a general rule, and with the exception of rum in 1800, every dark liquor has a high chloride content. Gin and Fireball are the only high nitrate liquors. And gin is probably the dirtiest liquor when it comes to an ion, with vodka being the cleanest. A big absent here is whiskey which was analyzed on the previous video, link in the description. It should be said that uh, some organic compounds can show up at the same time as the anion and uh, masquerade as such. In particular, acetate can show up almost exactly where the fluoride peak is. Understanding the colon sensitivity and ability to pick the correct analyte and the nature of the sample being analyzed help identify the correct analyte. Also, these anions come mostly from the water being used at the end of the liquor distillation process and their concentration is tied to the source of the water. Now, beyond these somewhat interesting facts, what do you do with these dangerous leftover chemicals? The best advice would be to keep them in a cool environment and to store them in a dark place. So, uh, right, okay. Safety first. So, this is probably not your first YouTube video and you know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want. Patreon, bell, share. I hope to see you again on the next one and thank you for watching. Damn it!